Hi friends, today is the 11th uh, lecture of uh, Law of Dots and today we will discuss about the vicarious liability of the state. So what is vicarious liability of a state? Uh, because vicarious liability in terms of a person we know that it is a no fault liability. Similarly, we should see how it is being treated, how the concept of vicarious liability is treated in terms of a state. So uh, we will start with the, the difference from Indian constitution. Article 300 of our constitution, our constitution which is Indian constitution, it provides that the union of India and any of its state that shall be treated as a juristic person for the purpose of suits or, or filing the legal proceedings. So uh, that is very clear that the, uh, the union as well as the state, they have to be presumed as a juristic person when they have to appear in any of the legal proceedings. Now, there is a case in relation to that which is Nobin Chandra Day versus Secretary of State for India. It's an ILR case. And the, it was held in that case that state was exempted from liability when the function is sovereign. Which means that if state is doing any function which is sovereign with relation to sovereignty of India, then it has to be exempted from the liability of which is vicarious liability of the state. The same uh, similar finding was held in the case of P.V. Rao versus Kushal Das, which is EIR 1949 case. So, with this we have seen that the union and its state, they has to be treated as a juristic person. This is the concept of vicarious liability. But at the same time, there has been the case laws where this liability was exempted, citing the function is sovereign. Now let's see how this vicarious liability extends to the act of police officials as well as the electricity board related cases. So let's see first uh, we'll analyze that how this vicarious liability exists in the case of acts related to police officials. We'll first see a case from Indian jurisdiction which is State of Assam versus Muhammad Nizamuddin Ahmed and it is AIR 1999 case. In that case the police was exercising their sovereign power and the plaintiff got injured. Now it was held in that case that plaintiff is not entitled for compensation as police was exercising their sovereign power. So this is a sort of immunity which is given to police for exercising their functions. Another case is related to uh, jurisdiction of uh, Madhya Pradesh which is state of MP versus Chiranji Lal. This is AIR 1981 case. In that case also it was held that the state is not liable to compensate for damages caused in exercising of sovereign function. The matter here was uh, related to the quelling of a right. So if any right was quelled and in that uh, the police is exercising their sovereign function and in that exercising if somebody got injured or have uh, experienced any injury he is not subject to compensation. So this is one sort of immunity which is granted to police officials. Now what happens to electricity board? Electricity board the concept is a bit different. If it is held in electricity, uh, electro caution cases or any electric accident cases that the fault is with electricity board then they cannot be absolved citing the vicarious liability of a state. So here I would like to refer a case from AP jurisdiction, Andhra Pradesh jurisdiction in India which is P. Ramudu versus Superintendent Engineer of APSEB which is Andhra Pradesh State Electricity Board and the case is AIR 2009. It's a 2009 case. Now in that case it was held that due to negligence of APSCB the accident happened and the person was electrocuted. So AP code held electricity department officials negligent in this case and they, it was directed to them for compensation. So you can see it's not blindly followed in India's, Indian jurisdiction that any vicarious liability is given to the state. It is purely based on the reasonable facts. While police is generally citing this vicarious liability and they are absolved from any liability because they are using uh, their sovereign powers, but in electricity department cases, it is very much the fact plays an important factor. If it is proved that any electrical accident happens with the negligence of any electrical authority, then the compensation is provided. So that is all about the chapter of uh, vicarious liability of the state. It is a small topic, but it is important in view of interviews and exams. Now in the next session, we will discuss about the doctrine of sovereign immunity, which is a bit different from vicarious liability of state. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye.